Hi guys, I am here with Jordana Guimarez. Uh, and she is the co-founder of Fashion Innovation. Um, so we are very pleased to have you here at PopStyle TV. Uh, and I'd love to hear uh, about your beginnings, about how did you end up in fashion and in this industry? So I was always a people person. So I love people. I've always loved communicating with people. I love meeting people. It's just like really what drives me. <laughs> and I went on Craigslist, which at the time was like really great. And I started looking up jobs and I found a PR director position for Nina Ricci, Porsche Design, Lanva, like all these huge brands. No experience, no college degree, reading PR for dummies. I was like, this is the job I'm gonna apply for. So I found a president of the company. I emailed him, I found his email. And I said, hi, my name is Jordana. I don't have any experience. I don't know anything about PR. I read PR for dummies, but give me the chance because I'm very passionate and I know that I could do it. So wow. literally, yeah, it was very ballsy. And that's exactly, he replied, which I was shocked. And he said, you have a lot of balls to apply for a position <laughs> in this way. He said, but I want to meet you because I never got an email like this before. I'm curious. I mean, it, it probably just showed what you're passionate about and, and what you're capable of doing. So it's impressive. <laughs> it's two things. It's passion and it's going after it and not being afraid because if you're not, and you shouldn't be afraid because if you're going after something, the worst that can happen is someone doesn't reply. What is fashion innovation? I always wanted to focus on three key pillars, which were technology innovation, sustainability, and entrepreneurship. So we would do these physical events during New York Fashion Week. And as it evolved, we found that a lot of the partners that were coming on, like we worked with, you know, UPS and Blue Sign and brands from like Mara Hoffman to DBF, they all wanted to innovate. They didn't know where to find these technologies. So we started becoming like that middleman, almost that matchmaker. We just pivoted to online. And that's when magic happened, I always say, because we went from a thousand physical attendees to over 100, 120,000 at our first digital summit in 129 countries. And we realized the power of online, but also how big the community that is interested in sustainability and technology, and they don't really have, I mean, you have BOF, they do an amazing job at what they do, WWD and all those publications, but they, it's not easy to go in there and find innovation and technology for a pain point that you're having as a brand. What do you think um, is the future for, the, for fashion innovation and for fashion in general? What's coming up with fashion innovation, I can tell you that there's gonna be video talks and content engaging the audience all year round is something we're working on right now. I do see the industry finally not being this exclusive bubble that everyone's like, oh, fashion, what is it like? But rather like the doors opening up for other industries to come in and give ideas and implement things that they're doing that's working for the fashion industry to start working in the way that it should with sustainability, with inclusivity with innovation um, so that not only the industry becomes better, but the world becomes a better place as well. And I know you're very active yeah. uh, related to sustainability. Uh, where do you think um, the world currently is and how can we make it faster in improvement when it comes to it? The thing is like, how do we, you know, really make change so that there is no landfill so that like we don't have all this waste and it was brought to my attention which is super scary that we have exactly nine years to lessen the carbon footprint in the industry by at least 80 percent before like immeasurable damage is made to the environment it's a big conversation um i think a lot more needs to happen than it's happening already i think a lot less talking and a lot more action needs to be taking place Congratulations on your new book, It Can Be You. <laughs> Tell me about It Can Be You. It's to humanize homelessness using the voices of the fashion industry. So in the book, It Can Be You, you have the story of the influencer with a picture of them, something that's gonna 
call attention to the reader, to the people. And when they read the struggle, right underneath the struggle of their favorite influencer will be this very similar struggle of a homeless individual today, but it'll show you the circumstance that separates the two people. Thank you so much, Jordana, for sharing your story with us. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you at your next event.